talk us through a little bit what you're doing here, Tommy. Well, if thing is, because if you need it, you kind of, you could either go really high, but then the more, if we open the face fully, we're not going to be able to get it there, because we won't have enough speed in a bunker shot, I don't think. You reckon? I, I mean, I, I think you I you could, can get close? I think so, but it has to be full speed. Like, like yeah, <laughs> like, I'm not, it, like, <laughs> like, yeah, if, I mean, if I just had my face, like, feeling to my toes, I'd feel, go. Nice. That turned out well, but yeah. yeah, I'm not even like. It's pretty good. And then, I know there's not loads of sand in here, but if you had to open the face, it's a lot of speed. I'm not even sure I can. There you go. There you go. Wow, that's pretty good. Mmm, nice. Yeah, you're you're always it's looking a similar for like thing, isn't it? It's loft like... and loft or spin. The more you open the face, the you know the harder it is to get a shot, That's like a, you know as I mean, much distance perfect. out of it as you as you can. That's a good example of good technique, though, because yeah, like you know, That's is it a really hard everything. bunker shot there? And you said, oh, it wasn't that good. And it's gone to like five feet. <laughs> if you sort of get it up a little bit and we get a little more sand underneath it, yeah, there you go. Then you can get a little more, a little closer to it, and get a bit of get a bit oh, of height. Oh, that was the strike. That was awesome. Watch this. What, what, what? Oh. So, this, you, you look at the grooves. Walk with me, boys. We're going we're gonna to kind of walk up there. Maybe take a couple yep. of balls, Rory. I've got a couple for you, Tommy. Yep. All right. Um, so, the, the full full face score lines on the wedges. Yes. That's tour inspired. Yeah. What, what do you think the benefit is? So, it's funny because I've probably went more to trying to hit chip shots and bunker shots more square on like if you look at where my bunk those two bunker shots they're both out of the middle they yeah. didn't go quite yeah. close to the toe yeah but it is it is the the you know the norm sometimes for people to to sort of cut across chip shots and bunker shots and then the more you can get the grooves out to the toe the more the ball is going to catch them and you're going to get exactly. more spin from wherever you hit it on the face. Helps like a glancing blow, I guess. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So, 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 so the margin for error, just like the sweet spot on the driver. Forgiveness. Becomes... Yeah. So let's, um, like a unique one, right? So let's say like the ball's like sitting up like that, Tommy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and you, you kind of going, let's, let's go to the, the, the middle flag on the left. Yeah. What, um, well, how are you, how are you assessing this lie? How are you like? I would, going, um, like, I would. You, you've got unlucky, would you say that's unlucky or? Un I'd say it could have been unluckier. Yeah. <laughs> could have finished <laughs> under the divot. Uh, but like, the, I, I guess the first thing I would always look at is, um, so you look at the lie, because that sort of dictates what you can it. And if I could get the club under the ball, like if I could get like the, club under more like the half the ball or two grooves under then I know I could sort of play a normalist chip shot and then if I couldn't like if it was I mean that would have been yeah worse so, so you... and then that had and what what club would you play that with it's a good question would you try and play that with the straighter I, face to I think I don't know I'm thinking that because then at the same time you go let you go straighter face then you because I'm going to Decel on it anyway, yeah. then I'm going to be lacking loft. I don't know yeah. whether a lob wedge would feel like I could just. But I think there's enough give underneath that divot that you could. To, where you could like yeah. just. Again, that's the thing. Like judging lies the whole yeah. time yeah. is such a. It's yeah. such a skill, and it just all it takes. It, it is it's, actually a skill in itself. And it's experience, like, and it's, it's. Oh, I had a lie like this. And I, and I always six weeks find ago, that, and this is what happened, yeah. or you know. I always find that when I'm on tour, the amount of. Like uh, players will go out onto the golf course, they'll come back, they'll find a spot on the chipping area, and they'll just let, hit so many of the same because it's a there's a consistency in that type of lie that they're going to be getting. Well, out yeah, the, you could, the especially off the fairway or, here, you yeah. could put balls into the grain and stuff. And like I, I, I think quite a lot of players do. I, I like putting the toe under the ball a lot of the time because then it, it it sort of like it, it gives a bit of room and it gets under the ball easier and it's like a little bit of a safer strike i always yeah. think so, so then so um, some um yeah so, so a, lot, a lot of kind of like amateur golfers they'll, they'll talk about that you know you talk about he everybody talks about heel relief heel relief heel relief there's also toe relief on the yeah. club and, and then that's exactly what you're trying yeah. to explain so what what um rory 
what kind of lie would 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 mean that you'd that you'd want to like belly the wedge? What what, what dictates that? Like as in like belly it, like belly yeah. it. Um, like it would be sort of close close to the green. And again, where Tommy was saying, where you can't like it's maybe just far enough away that you can't put it, but it's like it's in like a little depression like this, and you can't get the club underneath it. Like that's a perfect example there. So it's really where you really can't, sticky lie. Yeah, you want to just be able to get under the equator, don't you? Yeah. Like to chip it, and then like, if as you, Tommy if you said, like you it. could get really close to it and, and like put the toe down and go this way just to guarantee a good strike. Yeah. So we get real close and almost get the shaft sort of vertical, or you just you know you you try to you try to belly it and sort of just get it running. I think awesome. You just watch like even like Roy he put the club behind the ball in like four different ways straight away. Yeah. It's like how many like and to have a wedge that can do all of them is Yeah. And that's what I noticed is like and it's it's while he's while he's doing that he's assessing the lie. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. That's that's actually, like, yeah, can, like, can like, I get the like, can like, I get the club in? Can I get the toe in? Can and I open it? See, can like, I like on TV so many people are there and they're putting the club behind the ball to see which yeah. way is gonna you know putting it down does it yeah. does this work and, and, and yeah. eventually you get to like a point where it kind of triggers it's like the... okay that that feels comfortable because it's all about the more comfortable you can feel before hitting a chip shot the better yeah. like with anything but the more comfortable or certain that you know the, how the ball is going to come out yeah then you can go ahead and hit it so i got i got one for you tommy um and 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 again when you when we being on tour you're watching golf on tv and, and every now and then the commentator will say, I think he's, he's thinking of holding this, <laughs> you know, and, and, and like, and then somebody else will go, well, you should, you know, they're thinking of holding every shot, which is, which, you know, in theory, that's what you want to do. Yeah. But there are certain chip shots where, where you literally do believe that, that you kind of have a chance. Yeah, you've, you've yeah. So, so how do you, how do you, how do you, how does your thought process change there in terms of how your club selection um, I think I think a lot of times the ones that you feel like you're whole. I don't know about you, Roy. Like it comes to you very quick. Yeah. Like yeah, the, a... the the lies there. You, the club is pretty much certain. You're looking at it. You you can see the and way it's vi- rolling. You can vi- visualize it like a puck going in, right? You're just For trying sure. to you're getting it rolling. And, and, and yeah. it and it, it does it just it does like kind of come very quick to you. Like a, again, like you say, thinking a hole in everything, but. When Rory's got a shot then and he's trying to like fit the club under the ball and he's and he's doing all kinds of things, sure like the end result would be ideal if you hold it, but you've got like there's you make a decision but it's not always it's just not been that obvious and you and you pick a shot that you think will be the most productive and you know, like one foot, two foot, three foot is a great shot, but if you have a ball pegged up and you just walk in and you're like, Oh, yeah, like, that's just yeah, just give me the sixty yeah. and knock it off. Give me a favour, Rory fine. take um Where's that high, the high, the big foot one there? The wide. The wide the one. Wide. Take, take the, the wide one there. I want you guys to try and hit a, hit a few shots. These are these are Tommy's. Uh, oh, I've got some here. Yeah, j- just hit a, hit a few shots with 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 this wedge and and, and if, tell me if you notice anything or, or feel anything because you know versus what you would normally kind of feel and. How hard is it chipping into grain? <laughs> It's like, like for example, are you able to open that up as much as yours? And uh, so that's the thing. So that's the technique I would have to use with the wedge yeah. I use, and I just thin that. Yeah. Because of the wider, you so know. So, like I, I feel. Yeah, it definitely gives you a little more uh, margin for error. Yeah. So now sole. you've got the ability to hit. You know, you kind of. You guys are quite. You know, you hardly take a divot when you chip, but now, now you know, so you think like, of a lot of amateurs. They, you know, they kind of dig the club. This, this is going to get the club out. This the ground, is going right? to help the club get out of the ground. Yeah. So, like, and I almost like, practice for me, trying to like throw the club into the ground and see yeah. it bounce. Where I'm not even like usually with a shot like this, Way. I'm trying to not get the club really. I mean, like brushing the ground maybe, but that's it. I mean. That's interesting. That so, so this is quite a tight lie, yeah. Yeah. This you, is a, these are horrible. These, these are these are lies. these are these tough little chips. Fine, do, and then you just like dunch it in front of you because you can't. Have that. Yeah. Do, do, so do you reckon you could hit a flop shot with that club? I'll try. 
Yeah. I mean, not bad. I think that's it's, the it advantage. Actually sli of... It slides through really well. Yeah. Like, it really does slide through it really see well. See that I go in. Yeah. Let's do the. Ooh, that was all right. <laughs> Pretty good. I must practice. Literally just got one more. Throwing the club into the ground, like. Yeah, which is so counterintuitive to what we would normally do. Yeah, I right know. Do you feel more weight down in the in the bottom of that? Yeah, like there's just you throw it down and the ball just pops up. All right. It's quite nice. 